Hello, and welcome back to the Kanzita Gut Health Network, where we teach you how to cleanse your gut, fix your diet, and get your digestive system back to working normally again. Thank you for joining me for this presentation. Today, I'll be teaching you the science behind our original and most popular formula, Kanzita Remove, which is the one with the orange RMV label. We've had so many people request a video answering this question that we decided to create this presentation. We'll cover what Kanzita is meant to do, how we selected the ingredients for it, the science behind each one, and how they all work together to cleanse your gut from nearly all yeast, bad bacteria, and parasites. So before we begin, I just want to take a moment to tell you a little about us for those who are new. We launched our YouTube channel in 2013 so regular people like you could get the same advice our team of naturopaths and nutritionists used to teach their gut disorder patients before they retired from their practice. On this channel, you'll find over 3,000 in-depth videos teaching you everything you need to know to finally cleanse your gut from candida, leaky gut, SIBO, and almost any other gut issue. If you've got a question related to gut health, chances are we've already made a video about it. We're also the creators of many books on gut health, such as the ones you see on the left of your screen. Our original book, Candida Crusher, is over 700 pages long and considered by many practitioners and naturopaths to be the most comprehensive book on candida ever written. And we've created quite a few books since then. Why do we give away so much information for free? because we like to see people recover and get their health back. It's fantastic, and it's the best part of our job. So what is Kanzita Remove meant to do? Kanzita Remove is our cleansing formula. It's a 12-ingredient antifungal, antibacterial, and antiparasite tablet based on three decades of experience. We designed this formula to cleanse your gut of nearly all yeast, bad bacteria, and parasites. Now, why did we do this? Why did we lump antibacterials and antiparasite ingredients together along with antifungals? This is supposed to be a candida product, and candida is a yeast-like fungus. So what do you need all these extra things for? Is it just so we can charge more money? No. What our team have discovered over the years and after looking at thousands of comprehensive digestive stool analysis test results is most people with candida have multiple issues that need clearing up. Some people who think they have candida, in fact, don't have candida at all. So what do these people have? Imbalances across the board. They have poor levels of good bacteria. Many have high levels of bad bacteria. Others have microscopic parasite infections like blastocystis. Because once you've got low levels of good bacteria and high levels of yeast and bad bacteria, it's not hard for other bad guys to get in there. The only way to test this for sure is to get a comprehensive digestive stool analysis, or CDSA test, which is very expensive and most insurance companies don't cover it. It costs something like six to $700 to get this test done, depending on where you live. We've got videos on our YouTube channel where we hold the paper with these stool test lab results up to the camera so you can see them for yourself. We're not making this up. We've got lots of videos on this topic, so be sure to write this down and do a search on our channel later. Most people with a severe gut issue are going to have multiple problems that need clearing up, and Kanzita Remove is going to tackle all or most of them. That includes all common species of Candida, plus over 150 other yeasts, over 800 species of bad bacteria, including the nasty ones such as E. coli and staph, plus a broad range of parasite invaders like blastocystis and others. Kanzita Remove is sustained release. It targets all parts of the GI tract, including the mouth, stomach, intestines, and colon. We'll talk more about the advantages of taking a sustained release supplement for Candida later in this presentation. Kanzita Remove is gluten-free, non-toxic, vegan-friendly, has no side effects, and doesn't harm your beneficial bacteria at all. It is recommended and used by naturopaths, nutritionists, and other health experts worldwide. So Kanzita Remove has 12 ingredients. These are grapefruit seed extract, berberine concentrate, clove, aged garlic extract, caprylic acid, undesalenic acid, betaine hydrochloride, black walnut hull extract, powdarco, neem, 
biotin, and oregano oil. If you look at your screen, you'll see half of these ingredients are standardized. Standardization means that each time you take this supplement, you're getting a consistent therapeutic dose. It doesn't vary in potency from batch to batch, as is usually the case with non-standardized ingredients. It's sort of how pharmaceuticals are made. You get the same therapeutic dose every time you take it. We used three criteria when we selected these 12 ingredients. The first is potency. How strong was the effect of taking this ingredient? Which natural substances out there are most effective against yeast, bad bacteria, and parasites without hurting beneficial bacteria? The next criteria is band of action. Did it have a narrow band of action, meaning it only targeted candida, or was it also effective against other yeast species, bad bacteria, and parasites? And third is the quality of the raw materials. We asked, where do the ingredients come from? Does the supplier have lab work showing how much active ingredient is in each batch? Are they testing their product using reputable third-party labs to make sure each batch is free of contaminants and toxins? All the ingredients we use in Kenzita meet these requirements. We also tested these ingredients in many different dosages and proportions before releasing it to the public. They're not random. We tested many different combinations of these herbs at different dosages for a period of six months before releasing Remove to the public. Now, a word of caution before we get into the details of how each ingredient works and what it does. Just because an herb is effective, it doesn't mean you can single it out and just take that one herb in large amounts. It's not a good thing to do. You want to have balanced actions in the body, not have a massive action in one narrow direction. All right, moving on. Why does Kenzita Remove only use natural ingredients like herbs and plant extracts? Why don't we use artificial stuff or modern chemicals made in a lab? Two reasons. One, yeast, bad bacteria, and parasites cannot become resistant to natural ingredients. That only happens with drugs. This has been confirmed many times with studies done on things like grapefruit seed extract, caprylic acid, and the other natural ingredients we'll be talking about in a moment. Resistance just doesn't happen. It happens with drugs because they are synthetic. They're only made up of one thing. They've got one ultra-refined chemical compound with a very narrow band of action. Natural ingredients are different. They can have a wide band of action. One single plant can have antifungal, antibacteria, and antiparasitic properties. You can't have this with ultra-refined chemicals made in a lab. The yeast, bad bacteria, and parasites will almost always become resistant to them over time. And you know what happens next. The drugs stop working, and you're going back to the doctor to be put on another drug until the cycle repeats. The second reason we only use natural ingredients is they don't cause collateral damage. They don't wreck the gut while cleaning it out. They don't kill off or harm beneficial bacteria. Natural ingredients also don't weaken the gut wall or contribute to you having leaky gut. That's why we only use natural medicine at Kanzita. It lets us only target the bad guys while leaving the good guys alone. And as you'll see from the studies we'll be talking about in a moment, the natural stuff is no less effective at getting rid of yeast, bad bacteria, and parasites than the synthetic stuff. So the first ingredient we're going to talk about is grapefruit seed extract, or GSE. This is an extremely powerful antimicrobial. All citrus seeds actually have candida cleansing properties, and grapefruit seed is the most effective by far. GSE was first discovered in 1972 by a man named Dr. Jacob Harich. He had been looking for the world's strongest substance for sterilizing and cleansing, and thought he had found it in grapefruit seed. The first to take notice was the food industry, because Harich found that GSE could inhibit and kill mold on food. Then hospitals found out about it, and they started using it as antiseptic to clean wounds. They found it could reduce the risk of infection during surgery. It was even used in Olympic-sized swimming pools because it got rid of bad bacteria like E. coli. Then, in 1980, the American Research Institute tested it, and they discovered GSE was so powerful it could knock out over 800 kinds of bad bacteria and over 100 strains of fungi. Of course, that's when the chemical industry got involved and convinced people to stop using natural ingredients and switch over to their synthetic stuff. We still use grapefruit seed extract in our Kanzita Remove formula over the synthetic stuff. Why? 
because it works. One study published in 1990 by the Journal of Orthomolecular Medicine found GSE to be more effective at stopping bad bacteria and yeast than 30 different types of antibiotics and 16 different types of chemical antifungals. Kanzita Remove contains 45% standardized grapefruit seed extract, which is quite high. You can actually make your own GSE using grapefruit seeds, but it's extremely bitter and most people find it hard to swallow. So best to take it in tablet form in a supplement like Kanzita versus using the liquid. The second ingredient is berberine concentrate. Berberine is a natural antibiotic with a broad band of action. It not only weakens candida, but also bad bacteria like staph, E. coli, and parasites. A June 2016 study from the University of Sierra in Brazil showed that berberine has the ability to stop the growth of various candida species, including candida that's already become resistant to antifungal drugs like fluconazole. Berberine is found naturally in many plants, such as barberry, which you can see an image of on the left of this slide. It's been used in natural medicine for many years to treat everything from diarrhea to psoriasis and more. This is a powerful extract with antifungal, antibacterial, and antiparasite properties. It targets everything except for the good bacteria in your gut, which is why it's perfect for a cleansing formula like Kanzita Remove. Kanzita contains 85% standardized berberine, which is extremely potent. We do this instead of using something like barberry tincture or powder because we've found the standardized extract to be more effective. Next is cloves. This is another ingredient with a wide band of action, meaning it's effective against yeasts, bad bacteria, and parasites. Clove contains an essential oil called eugenol. According to a 2009 study from the University of Porto in Portugal, eugenol can rupture and destroy yeast cells upon contact. They also found it almost entirely prevents candida from producing hyphae. Hyphae are tiny branching tubes or tendrils candida and other yeast use to penetrate the gut wall and spread to other parts of the body. It's also one of the main reasons people with candida tend to have leaky gut. The candida will literally punch through the gut wall, leaving tiny microscopic holes in it. These holes heal over time, but make the gut permeable until then. That's why it's called leaky gut. Do a search on our channel for leaky gut after watching this video if this is a topic you want to learn more about because we've got many videos about it. You can also find a link to them in the description below. So, the eugenol in clove actually stops these hyphae from ever developing. It works like this on all forms of candida, even ones that have already become resistant to antifungal medications like fluconazole. One study done in India in 1999 also studied the effect of clove and compared it to various antifungal drugs, as well as garlic. Their results show that garlic wipes out yeast and bad bacteria like candida, salmonella, and staph within one hour, while clove took four to five hours to have the same effect. Clove is just as powerful as garlic. It just takes a few more hours to work. We'll take a closer look at garlic in our next slide. Aged Garlic Extract Garlic contains two powerful anti-candida oils. These are allicin and alanine. Chopping garlic also creates a third anti-candida compound called ahoine. These are some of the most potent antifungals ever discovered. There are a lot of arguments as to which one is strongest. We like to focus on allicin for candida remove because that one has the most research behind it. Studies show that when these oils come in contact with candida, its cell membrane, which is the outer edge of the cell, gets weakened. This allows your immune system to attack it and get rid of candida. This has been proven by various studies, including a major one conducted in 2006, which showed allicin to be as effective at wiping out 55 different species of yeast, including over 30 strains of candida. This has been proven by various studies, including a major one conducted in 2006, which showed allicin to be as effective at wiping out 55 different species of yeast, including over 30 strains of candida, as some of the most popular antifungals prescribed for yeast infections, such as ketoconazole and nystatin. Yeast hates garlic, particularly standardized garlic, because it can't develop a resistance to it. Kanzita Remove contains an aged garlic extract that contains all three of the anti-candida oils naturally found in garlic that I mentioned a moment ago. Our garlic is standardized for 2% allicin, which may not seem like much, but is actually quite high considering how potent allicin is. 
You can actually taste the garlic if you keep the Kanzita Remove tablet in your mouth for a few seconds because of how strong it is. The garlic taste is actually one of the complaints we get from customers who don't like the taste of garlic. But there's not much we can do to get rid of it since Kanzita Remove is a compressed tablet made of herbs, extracts, and oils. It's basically a powder that we've compressed into these oval tablets so you get the right dose and the right proportion of ingredients every time you swallow one. We like to say the taste is how you know you're getting the real stuff and encourage people who dislike the taste of garlic to just swallow the tablet quickly without it lingering in your mouth. There's no reason to keep it in your mouth or chew on it unless you have a severe case of oral candida and you want candida to have a bigger effect there. Aged garlic extract is well tolerated even by people who are sensitive to raw garlic, so there's no reason to avoid it. It won't make you smell like garlic or give you garlic breath. Don't worry. This is a very important ingredient to have in an anti-candida formula. If you're taking a candida product right now without Allison, you're probably wasting your money. It's that powerful. Caprylic acid is a monounsaturated fatty acid found primarily in coconut. It's considered one of the healthy fats. Coconut actually contains three of these acids. All of these are what's known as medium-chain fatty acids, or MCTs. If you've heard of MCT oil or seen MCT fats on a supplement label before, that's what caprylic acid is. MCT oils are sometimes used in protein powders or weight loss formulas because they are absorbed by the body quickly and can give you quick energy. The other MCT oils found in coconut are capric acid and lauric acid. All three of these have antifungal properties. The reason we only use caprylic acid in Kanzita is because it's the most potent of the bunch. Caprylic acid has a wide band of action. It's effective against yeast and bad bacteria. It's not as effective against parasites, but we've included plenty of other ingredients for that. Organic fats like caprylic acid have been used since at least 2800 BC, meaning 4800 years ago for their antifungal and antimicrobial properties. That's why soap was traditionally made from fats and why we still use them today to clean things. But it was only in 1961 that scientists in Japan discovered these MCT fats had other uses besides cleaning or washing our hands. That is, you can take them orally to get rid of yeast and bad bacteria in the gut. It does this by weakening the cell membrane. That way your immune system detects the candida and has a much easier time getting rid of it. Caprylic acid is extremely well tolerated and doesn't cause side effects or reactions in even the most yeast-sensitive patients. There's no reason not to take it. And as with the other ingredients in Kanzita Remove, yeast can't develop a resistance to it. Caprylic acid works best when paired with something called undesilenic acid, which is what we're going to talk about next. Undesilenic acid. This is a fatty acid distilled from castor bean oil. It's produced by cracking castor beans under high pressure, meaning you can't get it by consuming castor beans or castor bean oil. Undesilenic acid is naturally found in small amounts in human sweat, so it's not foreign to the human body. It's one of the reasons fungus doesn't normally grow in areas of the body that are often moist, like under the armpits. Undesilenic acid is highly effective for getting rid of candida, even more so than caprylic acid, which was the previous ingredient. It's been used as an antifungal for a long, long time. Even the food industry started using it back in 1949 to inhibit yeasts and fungi. It's a very foul-smelling liquid in its pure form and can irritate the skin and digestive tract if taken in isolation. That's why powdered salts of the acid have traditionally been used, as these tend to be very well tolerated by the majority of people and have no side effects. These salts also have up to four times the antifungal activity, so there's no reason to seek out the liquid itself. One study conducted in 1945 tested salts of undesilenic acid on 150 patients with skin fungal infections and found it to be highly effective against a wide range of fungi, including candida itself. So the first major study that proved the antifungal nature of undesilenic acid was itself done on candida. Another study by the American scientists Breck and Rosenfeld found salts made by undesilenic acid may have 30 times more antifungal activity than even caprylic acid. Salts made of undesilenic acid have been used topically to treat athlete's foot and toenail fungal infections since at least World War II. They were the very first substance shown to get rid of the fungus without causing irritation or side effects. 
Salt powder made of undesalinic acid was also tested in a double-blind clinical trial in 1980 by a scientist named Dr. Cretien from the USA. He found that 88% of foot fungus infection patients treated with undesalinic acid had zero fungus within four weeks compared to only 17% in the control group. Undesalinic acid has even been shown to be effective at clearing up systemic fungal infections of the lungs. This was proven in 1952 by the scientists Hopkins and Murphy. Other studies conducted on children in 1949 by Dr. Henry Perman found that you can take undesalinic acid orally to treat psoriasis and other fungus-related skin issues. Undesalinic acid works by inhibiting the growth of candida in the small bowel and large intestine. It does this by attacking the surface of the cell, causing it to become deformed and crumpled. This can actually be observed using an electron microscope. These deformed yeast cells can no longer grow and mature into their hyphal form, which we talked about earlier. It also makes it easier for your immune system to get rid of the yeast. Now, you may be noticing that a lot of the ingredients in Kenzita Remove work the same way and do the same things. Why is that? Why do we have so many ingredients in this product with similar functions? Why can't you just take really high doses of aged garlic extract or something and be done with it? The answer is simple. It has to do with tolerance and having balanced reactions within the body. Things like garlic, clove, and undesalinic acid are non-toxic, but you can bet you'll get a bad reaction if you do something crazy like swallow 20 cloves of garlic or 3 tablespoons of raw or dried cloves all at once. Your body isn't going to like that and you'll probably get a stomach ache and feel sick. There's only so much of each ingredient your body can handle in a short amount of time. When you take a massive dose of one ingredient, you get a big reaction in one direction. When you take smaller doses of several different ingredients at once, you can get the same amount of antifungal activity but have a balanced reaction in the body. Because while many of these ingredients have a similar effect on candida, they're achieving this result using different compounds and active ingredients. So instead of taking a giant dose of garlic and irritating your gut, you can take a smaller dose of garlic, plus a dose of grapefruit seed extract, caprylic acid, and more. That way you get the same level of antifungal activity without irritating anything or causing a bad reaction. I hope that makes sense. Kanzita Remove lets you take multiple antifungals at once in doses that are effective but not overpowering. And that gives you better results versus trying to take a huge dose of one single ingredient. All right, moving on. Betaine hydrochloride. Betaine is a natural supplement recommended to people who have pH issues in their stomach. It's found naturally in several foods, including quinoa. Betaine makes your stomach more acidic if the pH is too alkaline. It also helps with heartburn. It's a common assumption that heartburn is caused by overacidity or too much acid when, in fact, all the studies say the opposite. Heartburn is the result of your body releasing too much stomach acid because the acid is too weak and too alkaline to digest your food properly. We've got several videos on our channel about heartburn, so check them out later if this is something you struggle with. We added a link to them in the description below. This reacidification of the stomach, as it's called, from betaine is well documented and has been proven to work in a variety of studies. One study from the University of California in 2013 showed that drinking betaine HCL mixed with water lowered the pH of stomach acid down to healthy levels within just six minutes. This effect lasted for about 70 minutes and with no side effects from any of the patients. Betaine is an ingredient that works best when paired with caprylic acid and undesalinic acid. These two acids amplify each other and you always end up targeting more candida species when you take them together versus take them apart. And betaine amplifies this effect even further. Undesalinic acid works best in a slightly more acidic environment, and this is where betaine comes in. Many people with candida have pH issues in their small intestine, which would inhibit the effect of undesalinic acid if betaine wasn't present. When slow-released, betaine lowers the pH a little in the environments where caprylic acid and undesalinic acid work together. Betaine also ensures undesalinic acid works exactly where it needs to, which is the duodenum and ileum, the two parts of the small intestine most affected by candida. Next, we have black walnut hull extract. Black walnut contains what are called tannins. One of these tannins is called juglone. Tannins are dark bitter compounds found in nature. 
They're also found in green tea and red wine and have many health-promoting properties. Juglone is a tannin with a wide band of action. It's effective against yeast, bad bacteria, and parasites. Black walnut has been used for centuries in Europe. The whole tree secretes these tannins. The fruit, the tree, and the leaves all have it, and they stain your clothes black if you get any of it on you. People actually used to boil black walnut and use the water to soak bed sheets in to get rid of bed bugs, mites, and fungus. It was also used topically on the skin to get rid of ringworms, which is a fungal infection. According to a 1999 University of Mississippi study, black walnut hull is just as, if not more, effective at wiping out worms, parasites, and yeasts than commercially available chemicals such as selenium sulfide and even drugs like metronidazole. There are several different types of walnut hull extract, including green walnut and black walnut. Black walnut is the more powerful one. Black walnut can irritate some people with poor kidney function or people who eat too much protein like red meat every day. So you may want to be careful with the dosage if you ever get it in liquid form. The black walnut hull extract we used in Kanzita Remove is at a very small dosage that shouldn't cause any issues or irritation. We use a standardized black walnut hull which is quite powerful when in minuscule amounts. It's not as powerful as grapefruit seed extract, but when combined with GSE and the other ingredients in this presentation, creates a super powerful formula that works time and time again. Only the hull, or shell, is used in Kanzita Remove, so it's safe to take even if you have a nut allergy. The ninth ingredient in Kanzita Remove is Paudarco. This is a bark from a tree that grows in South America. People in South America have been using Paudarco for hundreds, if not thousands of years, to treat everything from bowel problems, hemorrhoids, constipation, respiratory illness, coughs, fungal infections, arthritis, skin problems, and even certain cancers, such as of the tongue and mouth. We consider Paudarco to be one of the missing ingredients in most people's candida eradication regimens. Any anti-candida formula that doesn't have authentic Paudarco should be considered incomplete. This is based on research conducted in the 1970s, which discovered several dozen different active ingredients that inhibit candida and other fungi. Another study conducted in 2007 by German scientists at the University of Paderborn discovered that Paudarco could destroy the respiratory mechanism that candida and other fungi use to breathe. It suffocates candida so it withers away and dies. And that's not all. Another study, this one conducted in 2008 and published in the Journal of Ethnopharmacology, found that Paudarco blocks and inhibits candida's ability to produce its tissue-destroying oils in your intestine. It stops candida from wrecking your gut wall and helps your body recover faster. It disrupts all sorts of life cycles candida has. Be careful if buying Paudarco supplements because it's often counterfeited due to its high cost. We make sure to only use authentic Paudarco in Kanzita. We use a special standardized Paudarco with a high dose of active ingredients so you can be sure you're getting the best. We're almost done here, folks. Ingredient number 10. Neem. This is an Indian herb rarely used in yeast infection formulas. It checks all the boxes with its broad-spectrum antifungal, antibacterial, and antiparasite actions. Neem has been used for thousands of years in India as an antiparasite and antibacterial. The twigs are used as a toothbrush, and the bark, leaves, and roots are used as a natural insecticide both for plants and for the skin to stop bugs from biting. Every part of the tree is used. It was first discovered to be exceptionally effective against 14 different kinds of yeasts, including candida, in 1987 by a scientist named Dr. Vassalou. Another study published in the Brazilian Journal of Microbiology in 2011 showed neem extract, even at low doses, has a very strong antifungal effect on a wide range of candida and other yeast species. Neem is totally safe and non-toxic to humans or pets. It's often used as a natural flea control for cats and dogs, and against lice. Number 11. Biotin. Biotin is a type of B vitamin. Some people call it vitamin B7. Others call it vitamin H. It's really a coenzyme like a lot of other B vitamins. It's a critical vitamin required for certain types of proteins to function properly. It's naturally found in brown rice, egg yolks, liver, kidneys, and in organic soybeans. It's also produced by beneficial bacteria inside the gut of healthy people. 
so obviously folks with gut problems tend to be deficient in it. Another reason we've added biotin is because like the other ingredients I've mentioned, biotin stops candida from maturing into its invasive mycelial form where it starts to grow hyphae. So candida gets trapped in the early stage of its life cycle, which is much easier to get rid of and doesn't cause as many symptoms. This was discovered in 1974 by a Japanese doctor named Dr. Yamaguchi. He found that when candida was grown in a petri dish, it quickly changed into its hyphae form. But as soon as he added biotin, this maturation would stop and candida couldn't proceed further. Now for the final ingredient, oregano oil. This is, in our opinion, one of the top three most powerful anti-candida herbs you can take. The other two are grapefruit seed extract and aged garlic extract. Oregano was used in the Mediterranean region for thousands of years alongside herbs like thyme, basil, and rosemary. People back then weren't just using these herbs to flavor dishes like we do today. They used them to preserve food. Remember, they didn't have refrigerators back then. So how did they keep mold, bad bacteria, and bugs from attacking the meat? You may be thinking, people used salt. And many did. But they also used herbs like oregano. These herbs have powerful antimicrobial properties. Oregano in particular contains a family of chemicals called phenols. There are different types of phenols. One is called thymol. Another is called carvacrol. Carvacrol is extremely antimicrobial. Some oregano has a low carvacrol content. Others have a very high content. The oregano oil we use in Kanzita has very high-grade carvacrol from the Mediterranean. It's about 60 to 70% carvacrol, so it's quite potent. It has a very wide band of action. It targets everything you want to get rid of, including yeast, bad bacteria, and parasites. Even viruses tend to get hit by oregano oil, which is quite amazing. This has been proven many times in multiple studies. One such study conducted in 2001 at the Georgetown University Medical Center found that when you inject oregano oil into a culture of candida, it stops the growth of the yeast completely. It's very interesting how science is now validating all this. Thousands of years ago, people didn't know about carvacrol. But they knew that when you crushed oregano and rubbed it on meat, you could store it longer and people wouldn't get sick when they ate it. So we're done with the 12 ingredients. Now let's talk about what happens when you take Kanzita Remove. Because Kanzita is very different. It's what we call a sustain release supplement. That means when you swallow Kanzita, your digestive system doesn't get access to everything immediately. Instead, it slowly breaks down in the gut over a period of several hours. There are several advantages to taking a sustain release supplement for Candida. First of all, you get stronger antifungal and herbal activity for longer. Instead of being active in your system for a short period of time, it stays active throughout the day as it passes through your entire digestive system. This also allows us to put stronger doses of herbs and concentrates into this tablet without them causing side effects or adverse reactions. If Kanzita Remove wasn't sustained release and all these ultra-high-potency standardized ingredients broke down instantly after you swallowed them, it would be too strong to tolerate for most people. You'd get an adverse reaction, similar to if you did something naughty like took 10 tablets of Kanzita all at once. Don't do that, by the way. You'd get a stomach ache and wouldn't feel so good. That's why Kanzita Remove is sustained release. You get all this antifungal, antibacterial, and antiparasite activity that gets spread out throughout the day versus overwhelming you all at once. Another benefit of taking a sustained release supplement is it helps prevent die off reactions. As you've likely heard, Candida releases waste particles and toxins as it dies, and these can cause quite a lot of symptoms and make you feel quite lousy, especially if you try to get rid of it quickly by taking huge doses of stuff all at once. Kanzita solves this problem by cleaning the gut slowly and over a longer period of time. That way, the amount of toxins that get released in a short period of time is far less and your body is able to clean them up without a problem. All the individual particles inside Kanzita Remove are sustained release, meaning you can crush the tablet into powder or add it to a smoothie and still get the sustained release effect. Having Kanzita be sustained release also allows it to target all parts of the digestion system including the mouth, stomach, intestine, colon, and more. So who is Kanzita Remove for? Kanzita Remove is for anyone who feels their gut isn't functioning the way it should 
and wants to get rid of any pathogens that may be the cause of the problem. Some people like to take it for a few days or a week after they ate something that may have been contaminated. They could have been traveling. They could have gone to a cafe and had a chicken sandwich. And their tummy felt funny after. Kanzita cleans the gut up. It reduces inflammation in the gut. It pulls yeast numbers down. It creates harmony and balance in the digestive system. Whether you've got a chronic or mild problem in the gut, Kanzita is going to help. It works equally well against Candida, SIBO, or small intestinal bacteria overgrowth, inflammatory bowel disease, irritable bowel syndrome, or IBS, constipation, diarrhea, skin problems like eczema, leaky gut, severe gas and bloating, sugar cravings, parasite infections such as blastocystis, the list goes on. It doesn't matter how long or how many years you've been struggling with these symptoms. Customers are always telling us Kenzita is what worked for them after all the drugs, doctor's visits, and other supplements got them nowhere. And we're confident it'll work for you, too. Some end notes before we wrap up. Be careful with narrow approaches when it comes to selecting herbs and nutrients to use against Candida. There are a lot of other herbs out there with strong antifungal properties, but they don't have the broad-spectrum application like the ingredients we just went over. They may target Candida albicans, but what other species of Candida and other yeasts? What about bad bacteria and parasites? Remember, Candida is almost never alone. There's almost always some other yeast or bad bacteria that's overgrown alongside it. It's like having a lake that turned into a polluted swamp. The fish die, the plants shrivel up, and birds leave. And instead, you get hordes of mosquitoes, ticks, biting flies, and other pests. Yeast, bad bacteria, and parasites are like that. They team up with each other. They're like germs. They're everywhere, and they seek out environments with weakened defenses where they can set up camp. And that camp is your gut. That's why you always want to take something that targets all these things at once. Don't just select two or three ingredients from this list and think you're going to take out all the yeast. You'll get limited results. Be careful of what you read on Candida websites. They might say an herb has antifungal properties, yet in reality, that herb is nothing more than a slingshot against Candida. You don't want to use slingshots. You don't want to use a huge weapon either. A huge weapon is something like an artificial drug. You don't want to cause collateral damage while trying to cleanse the gut. Also, remember that it takes time. It's just like growing a garden. You can't turn soil that's full of weeds and has been sprayed with chemicals into a beautiful garden within a few days or even a few weeks. It takes time. And it's the same with your gut health. Thank you for making it through to the end of this presentation. Before we conclude, I just want to take a moment to talk to you about our other two Kanzita formulas and how they relate to Kanzita Remove. These are Kanzita Restore, or RST, and Rebuild, or RBD. Restore colonizes your gut with the probiotic strains that best inhibit yeast, bad bacteria, and parasites, while Rebuild gives your immune system 32 vitamins and minerals plus 9 extra herbs to help fight gut infections. So I'm just going to spend a minute talking about each one and then tell you what situations you would take these in. Restore is a high-quality formula of six probiotics plus seven digestive enzymes designed to recolonize your gut with the exact beneficial bacteria that yeast, bad bacteria, and parasites are most afraid of, while helping you break down food and provide your new beneficial bacteria with nutrition. We've got several videos about this formula on our channel. What sets this formula apart from other probiotics out there is it contains digestive enzymes and purposefully contains no prebiotics. There are lots of reasons we did this, which I'm not going to get too into detail here. Digestive enzymes amplify the effect of probiotics. Prebiotics, on the other hand, tend to cause problems. They're great if you eat foods that naturally contain them, but don't work well when taken in supplement form. Candida Restore contains the four lactobacillus and two bifidobacterium shown to most inhibit yeast, including lactobacillus DDS1, the most researched probiotic strain in the world, and the Cadillac or Rolls-Royce of probiotics. Restore is also time-released. We use a special capsule that only opens up in the small intestine. 
That way, no good bacteria is lost due to stomach acid. It's the perfect companion product to take alongside Kenzita Remove, so you actually swallow both of them at once. We've designed them to work together. You can learn more about it on Kenzita.com and on our YouTube channel. We've got several bundles there where you can get a bottle of Kenzita Remove plus Restore as a pack if you want to try both at once and save money. You don't have to take probiotics right away if you're just getting started with Candida, but we do recommend looking into them at some point for the majority of people, especially if your symptoms are severe or you've been struggling with gut problems for a long time. Because getting rid of yeast, bad bacteria, and parasites is only the first part of restoring the gut. You then want to bring in the good bacteria because these are going to prevent those bad guys from getting back in there and causing the same problems again later on. Now let's talk about Kenzita Rebuild. Rebuild is a synergistic formula of 32 vitamins, minerals, and trace elements, plus 9 antimicrobial herbs and additional ingredients like butane hydrochloride, glutamic acid, citrus bioflavonoids, which are antioxidants, and biotin. It's designed to supply your immune system with all the nutrients necessary to hit the bad guys hard. Real hard as well as block them from gobbling up the vitamins and minerals from the foods you eat. Some parasites and bad bacteria actually do this. They can cause a vitamin deficiency, such as iron, even if you're taking an iron supplement. Kanzita Rebuild increases your energy levels and helps get rid of gas, bloating, chronic fatigue, and sugar cravings. It's really great at picking up the slack and fixing any shortcomings or mistakes you may be making with your diet. It's a fantastic maintenance supplement to take if you've ever relapsed or want an extra edge to prevent gut problems from resurfacing after you've recovered. You can learn more about it at Kanzita.com and on our YouTube channel. It's not mandatory to take all three of these formulas. We recommend most sick people to take at least Remove and Restore. If you have chronic gut problems or suffer from fatigue, you'll benefit greatly by taking Rebuild as well. For the absolute best results, take all three. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. Should you have any questions about Kanzita, our products, or even a question about gut health, please reach out to us. You can do this by emailing us at support at kanzita.com or by calling us. If you're in the U.S. or Canada, call us at 1-888-508-3171. For all other countries, please contact us via WhatsApp. Our WhatsApp number is one 877 226-9432. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We write dozens of personalized responses every day and are happy to talk to you as well. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy our channel.